In this video, I'll be using Opolosy to deploy Brave Browser. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. The group policy that I will be creating will be performing two actions. One of them is deploying the installation executable file to the program data deployment folder on the client computer. And also it will be creating a run once registry entry for our domain users and we are using run once because Ray browser is a type of software that needs to be installed under the user account and the installation needs to be executed by the user also for each setting i will be setting up item level targeting because i don't want to deploy these settings for users that already have Bray browser installed also in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic for example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup if you're interested in that. There is also a video about creating Brave Browser MSI file if you want to deploy it as an MSI file. And also there is a video about run once if you want more details on how it works. And now I will begin this video by downloading Brave Browser executable installation files. And for that I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the Brave Browser GitHub page. Then I will click on the release here and here we can download different types of installation packages and I'm looking for a particular one. It's this one right here, Brave Browser Standalone Silent Setup. Basically this is a silent installation out of the box for Brave Browser and it's very convenient for our case. So I will click on the link here and the download should start. Then I will go to my downloads folder and already we have our executable here. Now I will right click on the executable, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. I will minimize Server Manager for now and move the Brave Browser executable to my desktop. And then from the desktop, I will be moving it to my network share. And for that, I will use File Explorer. And here I need to enter my file server name, it's SRV02. Here I have this software share and inside of the share I will be creating a folder called Brave. I will go inside of the folder and move the executable here. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and share permissions. For example, in my case, if I go to properties, security tab and edit, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions or my NTFS permissions. Also, I have the same permissions for my share permissions. And authenticated users covers both users and the computers on my domain. And with read permissions, that means that all the computers and all the users in my domain are able to access this share and execute files from it. So make sure that you have the correct permissions here. Anyways, I will close everything that I have here and go back to my server manager because we can start creating our group policy. Then I will go to tools, group policy management, I will right click on group policy objects and select new. I will name the policy deploy brave and click OK. I will expand group policy objects, select the policy, I will right click it and select edit. Then here we need to go to user configuration, preferences and window settings. The first setting that I will be configuring it will be for the file deployment. So here I will select files, right click here, go to new and select file. And here we need to provide the location for our source file where we currently have our executable. And then we need to provide a value for the destination file. Basically it's where we want to deploy the file on the client machine. And all the values that I will be using in this video I have in my GitHub page. So because of that, I will go back to my GitHub page and as you can see here we have all the necessary values so for the action it's the default update and for the source file we're using this value right here basically it's my file server software share brave folder and then the executable name so i will copy this line go back to vampire workstation i will paste in the value here then for the destination i will copy this line And as you can see here, I'm using a variable. Basically, this right here means C program data. And everything else is hard coded. Basically, deployment, brave, and then the executable name. 
So I will copy the value, move the value here. And we're done configuring the file deployment. Now let's set up the item level targeting because we'll be checking if the Brave browser is installed by checking the registry settings in that computer. So for that, I will go to common, item level targeting and targeting. Here I will select new item, registry match. For the match type, we'll leave it a default key exists and for the high, we will leave it at current user. And then we need to provide the key path. And for that, back to the GitHub page, and I will copy the line here and paste in the value. And by default, it checks if it exists and we need uh, an opposite. We need to check it if it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, if this registry it doesn't exist, we want to deploy the file. So to change from exists to, to doesn't exist, we need to go to item options and select is not. And as you can see, now it says does not exist. So if the registry key will not exist on the client machine, it will deploy the file for us. And here, now we can select OK, apply and OK. Now let's deploy the registry settings. And for that, I will click registry. Right click here, go to new and select registry item. For the action, it's we'll leave it uh, on default update. For the hive, we will leave it on current user. And for the key path, we will go to the GitHub page and copy the value here. Basically, basically it's the location for the run once. So I will copy it, paste it here. Then the value name doesn't really matter, but I will copy it from the GitHub page anyways. And for the value data, we will copy this line. And if you don't know how run once works, basically uh, this line right here that we have for our value data will be executed during the user's logon process. So basically in this case, it will start the Brave Browser executable. And because this executable is a silent installation, it will start the silent installation for that user during the logon process. So we're done here. Now item level targeting, we need to go to common, item level targeting and targeting. Once again, new item, registry match. We'll leave this site on default and for the key path, go back to the GitHub page and copy this line right here. And paste it here. Once again, we have the ending exists and we need to, we need to have the opposite. So for that, I will go to item options and select it is not. And now it says does not exist. So everything is fine now. So I will click OK, apply and OK. And we're done creating our registry. I mean group policy. So now we can close this window. Now I will go to details and for GPU status, I will select computer configuration disabled because currently this policy has only user settings in it. And after creating our group policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit and then go to a client computer and see if the policy is working. So first we need to assign it and I will be assigning it to this organization unit right here. That's called domain users. And to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And the policy appeared here and also we can see it in the list here. Now to test this group policy, I will go to one of my client machines and it's the client here, client 01. And here, first I will open file explorer and go to C program data. And I made a typo. So I will try again. And here it is. And currently we don't have the deployment folder. In it. And also I will open a registry editor and see what I have for my run once registry keys. And for that I will go to current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and somewhere here we should have a run once. And we do have some values here, but it's unrelated. So our group policy. 
Anyways, now we need to update our group policy. So for that, I will go to start menu, type in CMD, and I will open command line without administrative privileges. And here I will type GP update and press enter. As you can see in our program data folder, the deployment folder appeared. And we have another folder called Brave. And inside of it, we have Brave browser standalone silent setup. So the file deployment was successfully completed. And let's check our registry by going to view and the refresh. And as you can see, we have our registry entry here called install Brave with this value right here. And as you can see, that environment variable was converted into C program data. So, like I said before, this line right here will be executed during the user logon process. So, everything seems to be fine. We have our executable and we have our registry entry. Also, one thing to note is that if I delete the registry entry now, and delete the executable and after that update my policy once again the executable will reappear same goes for the registry entry and that's because we set in our item level targeting that the, this file and this registry entry needs to deploy for the users that doesn't have Bray browser installed and this user currently doesn't have Bray browser installed so the file will, re will reappear every time during group policy update. Same goes for the registry editor, I mean registry, until the Bray browser will be installed. Anyways, so everything seems to be fine. Now we can close everything and then sign out and sign back in. I will try to open task manager and see if the installation has started. And here we have one process running from the Brave browser. So the installation seems to be started and we need to wait a few minutes for it to complete installing. And the installation for Brave browser seems to be done. We have our desktop shortcut right here. If I double click on it, it seems to be working just fine. Now, if I go to my C program data folder, and now if I delete my deployment folder, also I will go to my registry. And currently for on once we don't have any values. So this time, now that we have Brave Browser installed, the file should not be deployed again, and also the registry entry should not reappear. So let's double check by running command line without administrative privileges and do GP update. And as you can see, this time the deployment folder is not appearing. I can refresh, but nothing is happening. And also same goes for the registry entry. So everything seems to be working just fine. One other thing that you should know that this method for software deployment for user wide installation works very well if you have users that work uh, using VPN. Because most of other software deployment options that we have with group policy makes it mandatory for the computer to be on the company's network during the startup or logon process and in this case because we have the registry setting after group policy update and also we have the executable on our local machine it makes it unnecessary to be connected to the company's network for example here i have this client 02 and i will demonstrate it here currently we have a network connection we can reach our domain controller and if I go to start menu and open CMD, I will do GP update. And this time I will not check if the file was deployed or the registry key was created because I'm pretty sure everything works fine now. And now I will disconnect the network from this machine. 
So not only that it will not have a network connection to the domain control controller, but also it will not have internet access. And now I will sign out from my user and sign back in. I will open task manager to see what, what is going on. As you can see, the installation has started because we can see some Brave Browser processes running. And once again, the Brave Browser installation was successful, even though we don't have internet access and we are not able to access our domain controller. So in some cases, this can be very useful. To double check, I will start Brave Browser and it seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Brave Browser using other software deployment tools. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And see you in the next one.